Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and uh, Auto Modeler, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we have a new release from Tamiya, the new Subaru BRZ Street Custom. This is a 124th scale kit in plastic. It is part of the, their sports car series, and on the box here it says, a detailed static model display, accurately reproduced aerodynamic form, metal plated parts, and metal transfers enhance realism. Uh, and before I open this up, uh, we can take a look at the side here, though. Uh, they've got a couple different uh, versions uh, here, uh, different paint schemes. Um, red, basically, they're showing some some uh, Tamiya colors to, for the Italian red, and then also for the pearl white, the satin white pearl uh, options. Um, actually, this is a car kind of near and dear to my heart. If you um, might have watched our Aoshima review on the Toyota 86 model, which is the European version uh, of this car. Um, then you probably um, know that I like this car. <laughs> uh, oh, in the United States, uh, the, the Subaru BRZ is available, and then also the Scion FRS, which is uh, the basically that kind of Toyota version of it. Um, but uh, this is a nice looking car too, and I really like the the overall looks of this street custom look. So they did include uh, and send us also this um, detail up part series set. This is the uh, carbon pattern uh, decal set. So I guess it's got some carbon fiber looking uh, decals and so forth. And I'll, I'll put these in uh, at the very end with uh, some photos as well, uh, as well as the kit. Obviously it'll have some photos towards the end of this video, so you can skip on ahead if you don't want to watch me unbox the plastic. But basically I'm just going to unbox and give you my commentary as I go along uh, looking at the uh, plastic and so forth. All right, so let's, let's get started, shall we? So opening her all up, you can see the uh, right off the bat the body is in a, a white plastic and a one uh, kind of one pseudo one piece. Obviously the front fenders and such are missing, um, but overall looks like a very high gloss plastic finish, good for good for painting. Uh, door handles are all um, on on the car in one piece. Uh, obviously the doors are fixed as is standard for cars. I'm still wondering why that is though in today's modern level of, of model making. I think they, they could do more. They could, they could do better. It's just they, they and I'm, I'm not saying these kits are highly technical in terms of uh, like the, um, the level of detail and so forth by comparison to say uh, other uh, typical car manufacturers, Ravel, Ronogram, all the old, you know, the old series cars. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure the technical skills or the technical levels of production quality are going up for all the cars, but uh, it just seems like they could I don't know they could do more. So tire-wise, looks like we've got um, I'm gonna have to look at these maybe after I take the photos to see what the branding is. But uh, yeah, I'm not able to comment on how they're branded right now. Obviously, they're probably not branded with brand label uh, tires because that generally leads to licensing issues. Uh, but the tires look very nice, uh, very solid rubber, obviously, very low profile, and they have some rubber grommets in there as well. Uh, then we have this black piece, uh, which is, let me take a look, oh, this sure. one has the mufflers and some of the lower, looks like maybe lower detail uh, skid guard pieces and the front aerodam uh, lower piece. And then we have a nice large clear here, which I'm going to leave in here. Oh, one piece did come detach the back glass. The back glass I can see actually has some lines in it for the defroster, which is nice. That looks very nice. And the front glass has, again, uh, a mark for the uh, rear view mirror or, or a location point for the mirror uh, as well. So there's lots of little nice details here in the plastic. The front, the front head, headlamp glass, the rear taillight uh, are all very nicely uh, reproduced there. But take a look at the photos if you want more close up or better. better uh, a better idea of what they look like. I'll definitely take it out of the bag for the photos. All right, so uh, they're under the suspension part, some of the transmission uh, transaxles, and uh, very nice uh, in black plastic. And then we have uh, some of the interior parts here. Which include um, the side doors, the floor, the staple, uh, steering wheel, steering wheel, uh, steering wheel um, main cap cover, whatever is not on there yet. So I'm not sure that might be a different colored piece. Maybe, uh, maybe it's chromed. 
Um, they've got some small, uh, that's not the gear shift knob, there's the gear shift knob, but there's maybe the handbrake here, I'm not sure what that is. And dash looks very nice. It is a, a right hand drive car, the way they've got it configured. So I'm guessing Japanese uh, in terms of just, you know, Japanese format. I'm surprised they don't actually make the kit with both dashes so that you could switch from left hand to right hand drive. Because obviously, maybe this is more of a Japanese release car, but um, I don't know. It just seems like they could. I'm not even aware if this Subaru is actually available in the United States like this, the way it looks, the exterior, I mean. But it just seems like it would be something to add to give people more of an option. Um, they, here's some of the chrome pieces for the headlamps, uh, interior parts of the headlamps, the front front and rear, uh, real tail lights. Again, I'm going to leave those in there. And here is some of the front pieces of the car. I would love to build one of these, but you know, I think my, my airbrushing skills would probably let me down when it came to actually painting the exterior of the car. Uh, here's the front. Um, bodywork and some of the lower I think air dam or the air inlets on the, the lower part. Uh, I'm going to do this last. Uh, I've got one piece of chrome uh, for the, the uh, wheels. And here's the lower uh, underside body, the unibody construction I'm sure. Uh, very nice though, lots of detail in here. I'm sure you can see part of that anyways. Uh, here's uh, front, maybe, or rear. Uh, front, I think. Some of the front uh, wheel wells and uh, being that it is a front wheel drive, I believe. Or is this all wheel drives? I think it's all wheel drive, right, for Subaru. And that's one of the benefits of the Subaru versus the Toyota. The Toyota is rear-wheel drive. It is rear-wheel drive on the regular car, I think, or the non-four-wheel drive versions, all-wheel drive versions. All right, and so then we've got the the wheels. Now, I'm, I guess they're kind of muted, um, so they do probably simulate aluminum pretty well, because the, on, the, on the picture, they definitely look like a low-gloss aluminum wheel. Um, you can see here again the photo. Um, and these look a little more glossy, but I suppose you could tone them down with um, maybe some kind of flat um, matte finish or something, like a, a flat uh, clear of some kind. So Now, on the uh, construction front, obviously there's a little uh, Subaru background information. I'm not sure how much background information there is on a car. It's black, blank on the other side. It's just basically some uh, text information on it. And then, of course, the manual itself. Uh, which goes through step-by-step uh, -step processes and it's a fold-out, or yeah, it's a fold-out, I guess. And uh, covering all the various steps of making the car, obviously very straightforward, very, very uh, Tamiya-like, 24 steps for this one. And they have a painting and marking guide on the back. So that just leaves us with what's left here uh, in terms of decals and masks, and it looks like we've got a small metal pin, not sure what that's for, but uh, some masks for the windows and some of the, uh, is that the glass areas? I'm not sure what D is. And then some of the decals, which I'm sure include, uh, kind of, I guess I'll open this on this side. Oh, lots of staples. I think, I think zip bags would be better. All right, so here's some of the decals. So these are the stripes that they show for the different uh, different models, the white and black and the uh, red. And then this one is the various different parts, the, um, of course, the instrumentation, um, some of the uh, Subaru markings. I guess these are the uh, foot pedal, uh, like aluminum pieces, which I think could have done been done in metal, actually, would be better than decals if they'd been done, not metal, but you know what I mean, like uh, like the like the wheels. Uh, and then we have uh, these, the, the rear view mirrors and uh, and the side view mirrors. Not sure what those larger ones are. And then the masks. So, so very nice, uh, all-inclusive uh, kit here, and uh, looks like it's going to be very... Uh, very good build or easy to build. Uh, let's take a look at those photos then we'll come back and conclude.
Uh, the, uh, now that I have to take this out for the photos, I was looking at the carbon detailing, and definitely there's, you know, it's, you can't really see it. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus up close. There you go. You can kind of see the carbon fiber detail, uh, and, and obviously in the photo, I'll try to make it uh, clear as well. But uh, but that's the aftermarket product, the uh, Detail Up Part Series is 500 yen, so not too expensive. Um, part 12658, if you're looking for it, and uh, those go all over the um, the car. Now I don't think though that would be preclude basically using the stripes. Maybe uh, you might be able to put the stripes over the the detailing set. I'm not sure. The instructions do not really say they uh, just show them putting it on obviously the various parts here the hood the top of the car and the back deck so and uh, well i think that sums it up so if you have any comments or suggestions um please leave them below and uh, we will be looking for somebody to potentially do a a, a build review or a build feature on this car if you're interested you can give me an email at kitmaker at no, no, sorry, scratch that, at publisher at kitmaker.net, and uh, we'll let you uh, know, uh, obviously, if it's still available. You can also check our samples list, which is on the homepage. It says available samples right in the reviews area there. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Cracking the Box. Oh, and we'd like to definitely thank Tamiya USA for sending us this kit.